What is up guys and welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today we're going to talk about this look right here, this euphoria look. You requested this a lot on my Instagram account and today I'm going to show you how to recreate this characteristic look from the series using only your smartphone and the free Lightroom app. So that's all we're gonna need today. Of course, as always, I've also created a preset on exactly this look. If you just wanna save some time and just quickly paste it to your mobile photos, just feel free to download it. The link is under this video and it's on my website in that all presets pack with over 300 presets. And the cool thing about this all presets pack is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically added to the pack. So you just have to get it once and you'll get a growing presets pack, which is a great deal. So make sure to check that out. Link is under this video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell. And if there's anything else you need from me, as always, feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. Now I've said enough, let's jump into this tutorial. The first thing you wanna do, of course, is open your picture in the free Lightroom app. So we open the app here. I've chosen this picture that I took of myself right there when the sun came in through the window to get those hard um, shadows, but you can also do it um, in other sceneries, other locations. And uh, then the first thing you wanna do is go to curve on the upper right side in the colors tab, and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here, slight S curve, and on the upper right side, the highlights, we're gonna pull them down a little bit. Take a screenshot, take your time, and really try and recreate this curve as close as you can. Once we have this, we're done here. Next thing we're gonna do is pull down the exposure to negative 0.55 right there, contrast down to negative. 30 highlights down to negative 11 and boost up the whites a little bit to plus 48 and the blacks we're gonna boost up as well to plus 44 right there. Then we go over to the colors tab. Here we just wanna add some temperature so we're gonna boost that up to plus 41. This looks too much now but we're gonna edit it. So we're gonna boost up the tint to plus 18 there and then the vibrance here we're going to pull that down to negative 17 or 16 and the saturation also down all the way to negative 44 or 45 in this case then we scroll up and we go to grading on top here and for the shadows i want you to pull over to a hue of 145 that green almost bluish aqua area and then we're going to boost up the saturation to around 17 or 18 to get those greens in those shadows and the luminance we're going to pull down to negative 34 right there mid-tones here hue up to 45 that orange area and the saturation up to around 42 is perfect now the luminance in this case we're going to push up all the way to 50 six right there go over to the highlights here hue up to 21 that orange area again and the saturation up to around 30 is perfect and the luminance we're going to pull down a little bit to negative 36 right here which is perfect we're done and then we go to color mix on the upper right side here and for the red tones i just want you to pull down the saturation to negative 18 Go over to the orange tones. Here I want you to pull down the hue to negative seven and boost up the saturation to plus eight. And the yellow tones here, we just want to pull down the luminance all the way to 32 and we are done here. Now the last thing we're gonna do is go over to the effects tab here and I want you to pull down the texture a little bit to around negative 12 or 13 and now we're gonna pull down the clarity to get that soft uh, look into the image. So we're gonna pull that down to negative 40 and you can see those highlights blooming, um, that soft touch to it, that's perfect. And then we just want to dehaze. We're gonna boost that up to plus 42 to get that more crisp back in, the shadows darker. And the last thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of grain just to give it that vintage look um, to around 15 is perfect and then we are done we can export the file and this is it guys 
here's a before and after and I think we came super close to this um, old school film euphoria look that you wanted me to recreate for you today keep in mind we're only using our smartphone and the free Lightroom app so I think it's incredible how close we can really get once again I've created a preset on exactly this look if you want to save some time if you're having troubles with the tutorial feel free to download it the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 300 presets that you can just easily copy and paste to your mobile pictures to make them look great and the cool thing about this all presets pack is that every time I create new presets such as this one today they're automatically added to the pack so you just have to buy it once and you'll get new presets on a weekly basis which is a great deal so make sure to check that out link is under this video of course if you haven't subscribed to the channel hit the notifications bell and if there's anything else you need from me new ideas for new videos inspiration always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle now thank you so much for your love the support for this channel and for tuning in again I hope I'll see you in the next video till then stay creative stay healthy peace